Hi everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got some fun things to show you tonight. Um, I'm going to, before we get started, I just have to make sure I'm seeing what you're seeing. So I'm going to look down at my iPad and make sure I'm showing up and I see there I am. So that's good. And I can see what you're seeing. Then also same thing on my Facebook page and that's good too. So we're ready to go. Hi, Diane. Okay. Let's go ahead and get going. Um, one little note of announcement before we do start is uh, this is a, the last several days of celebration. It ends on February 28th, which is, I think, Tuesday. Um, so if there are still some, th some things you'd like to get free with your $50 purchase uh, or your $100 purchase, then uh, put your wish list together and go ahead and get your order in because it won't be lasting. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Christy. Um, also, one thing I haven't really talked about yet was uh, if you if you have a hundred dollar order, it's really in your best interest to actually buy the starter kit. So the starter kit in Stampin' Up Words is really anything that you want for one hundred twenty five dollars. You just pay ninety nine dollars and um, shipping. You don't pay any you and tax. Sorry, no shipping on it and tax. And you. Um, you can shop, and they also get two free stamp sets, so you can shop for the next several months at a 20% discount and just be a happy shopper, or you can earn some income from it if you're interested in something like that. I have a lot of, um, most of my team actually are hobbyists. They, they, they join Stampin' Up! to get the discount, and they're happy to just uh, shop and get the things they want at a lesser price than retail. So I do have some people that are doing it as a business and I support them too. Um, I personally have earned the Stampin' Up! trip the last four out of five years and so I, I can help you grow your business if you'd like to or um, again if you just want to buy the, the starter kit just to um, just to get a, get a good deal right now with two extra stamp sets and um, be a happy shopper for several months and that's great too. Okay, let me turn you down. We're going to get going here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do a little flip on my camera. I'll go upside down and then you'll be right side up to get going. We'll see. It takes a moment for the um, Facebook to kind of catch up with the screen so I can see what you're seeing. Um, I was just going to give you a brief visual of what, if you're looking at a starter kit, what it can kind of look like here. So this is a, this is what I've just put together. Sorry, the lamp's in the way. Get that out of the way. Um, so this is just a suggestion, like, but you can put anything in it if you want to. So here I have a pack of designer series paper, a pack of colored cardstock, a pack of white cardstock. I have a stamp set. Um, let me take these out for a minute. Got a stamp set, neutral paper, envelopes, um, an embellishment, some glue dots, a ribbon, and then two stamp sets here. This is one stamp set. This is a wish for everything. This is the most expensive stamp set in the annual catalog. This is $38. So those two stamp sets can be a big bonus to your stamping. It can buy, be anything that you want, but that's just a little visual of what all that looks like. So let me know if you're interested in that opportunity and I can help you with that. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some new stuff here. This suite of products that we're gonna work with tonight is called Waves of the Ocean. And one of the reasons I'm showing it today is if you sign up to be a demonstrator, you can actually get this right now. Otherwise, you have to wait till the 1st of March. Um, but, and some of these products are gonna be in the new annual catalog, but some are not. Let me adjust my phone again just a little bit here. Um, I'm going to show you the products, but this is the flyer that includes the suite of products, includes the stamp set and these dies, 
um, designer series paper that I'll show you, blue foil and rhinestones. So we're going to work with some of these tonight, not all of them, but that whole suite is $79.25 if you want everything. Now the only things that are going to continue in the annual catalog are the stamps and the dies. So these things, these um, accompanying products will only be available while supplies last. And the reason I'm bringing that up is the last promotion we did last month, which was the, I don't see it here, but was the, um, gosh, can't say the name of it. The, and I thought I kept it down here with me, but that was a suite of products with the, all the skin colors of the stamp and blends. Um, this promotion, there was a stamp set and designer series paper, and there was, hi Jan, oh it's nice to see everybody on, um, and those products, there are dies and stamps, and those right now are not orderable, so I don't know if they're permanently sold out, if Stampin' Up's going to get any more in or not. They were saying when it was gone, it's gone. But if you want this, as I said, and you can get this now if you uh, join Stampin' Up. And if you, as I said, if you're interested, just let me know. And I can even key everything in for you. You don't even have to do it yourself. I have a really active team. And we have a private Facebook group. We meet once a month. I supply make and takes. Every month I have drawings for um, for just even coming to the meeting you can win a prize we have swaps we have creative challenges all kinds of stuff so let me know if you're interested in that so this is this is the in-person way these look so it's going to be hard since they're 12 by 12 it's going to be a little bit hard to show in the camera but this is these three foils, so there's kind of an aqua blue, a little darker blue, and the silver. You get two of each of those in the packet of foil. Then this is the designer series paper. So on one side you have like big, big swirls of paint that kind of looks like the ocean. Like this. And now I haven't actually cut into any of the paper yet. I sometimes have a hard time making that first cut <laughs> into the paper. So that's one side. And then the other side is like Stampin' Up! usually does. It's a little more muted. It may or may not work with water. You, you don't have to use it with water images. You could use it with anything that you'd like to put with it. But that's that side of it. Then, um, the rhinestone basic wave jewels are lots of colors from light blue to dark blue. So if I can get these out and show you quick here. So these are the, these are the jewels. They're just gorgeous in person. I wouldn't say it's exactly ombre because it goes from green these kind of greens to aqua blue to kind of silvery blue to darker blue. But they're really, really pretty. Um, and if you buy the suite, you can actually, as a demonstrator, you can actually add two more packs of the rhinestones if you'd like to. So that's kind of fun. You can buy two packs of the paper and you can buy uh, three, two packs of the paper and then two, two of the rhinestones. Okay, I'm just looking at my, Kathy, you're home from the hospital recovering from COVID. Oh man, Kathy, I didn't know. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you're home. I'm hoping you're feeling better. Diane, thank you for sharing. Thanks so much. Um, and hi, Kathy. You're snowy, cold in Minnesota. We are snowy. We had some snow and we're very bitterly cold in Nebraska, so... I'm feeling your pain. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I've got quite the setup here. This is actually just a kit kitchen cutting mat because I want it to protect my surface because we're going to get a little bit messy here. You can see one of my hairs is on here and doesn't want to come off. There we go. Um, and then I have just, this is some 
grid paper that actually I, you know, it's used. So it's it's still good, but I don't, I always put out fresh grid paper for my classes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as kind of a protection, more of a protection for what we're doing here. So let me kind of put this down here. But you do need to be in a place where you're not going to damage anything by getting it wet, which is why I have this plastic mat down. Um, so you have to just be a little bit careful with that. Okay, so we're going to grab... Well, you know what we're going to do first before we get messy? We're going to do some die cutting. So these are the... Um, these are the dies. There's two waves dies. I did cut several of the waves. Let me grab something dark. Here's the back side of our card. So this is the foil cut. That side. Um, here's the darker blue, which might be easier seen on. Oh, I don't have a white inside on that. Let me grab a piece of white. There's the blue foil, um, and here's just the white. We're going to actually use sparkling paper tonight, sparkling like the waves. You're doing much better, Kathy. I'm so glad to hear that. That is such a bummer. Oh, so glad you're home. I bet you were not feeling very good if you had to be in the hospital. Okay, let me kind of crease this back so we don't have a bump here. But there's also two... Um, Label dies, there's some bird dies, uh, some more waves to kind of add interest to your waves. There's little wave, like the peaks of the waves dies. And then there's two cloud dies as well. And then the other image cuts out the pelican that we're gonna use tonight. So that's stamp set. We're going to first use one of these wave dies. I think it is this one that I used for my sample card. They're both pretty. It wouldn't really matter for this particular card what we would use. Then I'm grabbing some of the, it's called Subtle Shimmer Paper, and it comes in this kind of icy white with little specks of green and, well, kind of iridescent paper. And then we're gonna die cut this like this, but before we do that, we're going to do something I didn't do in my sample card when I was just playing. We're gonna add some adhesive strips. So I, um, they come like this, six by 12, and you get 12 sheets. You get quite a lot of it. I've just cut this down to closer to the size of my paper. Now I'm showing this last night. I think I showed it during the past week as well on my Facebook Live that so we were doing the 3D Valentine, the six days of 3D Valentine. Um, oops, what am I doing here? Yeah, okay, this is a sticky, hold on. Okay, I wasn't sure quite what I was doing there for a moment. It felt like, make sure I did this right. Um, I cut this piece a couple of days ago, so let me make sure. Yeah, we're gonna be good to go. All right, just want, I don't know, for a minute it threw me. It felt like it was only sticking on one side and it has to be sticking on two sides. So you just steal off this backing. One of the reasons I'm showing it is that um, I did it with my team for my last team meeting. Um, I had them do some die cutting using the adhesive the sheets and they hadn't used it before. So I thought, well, I need to show this maybe more often because maybe other people haven't used it and they're not sure how to use it. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get out the die cutting machine and I know it's gonna kind of glare because it's a very shiny um, very shiny acrylic plate. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna put this down and then die cut like so. And I'm gonna go back over it just cause there's some kind of tiny little places in the die and we want to make sure those get cut out really good. Okay, so if you're coming on, say hi, even if you're watching replay, thanks so much for watching replay. And I would love to know how you're doing. What, you, what kind of weather you're experiencing right now, because I know a lot, of the, a lot of the Midwest and North U.S. is experiencing pretty bitter cold. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out from here. Get this out. But if you are watching from replay, I do come back, and when you've commented, I always come back and check my comments to make sure I haven't missed anybody. If you watch it like within the first week, sometimes I don't get back to videos after the first week to check on if people are commenting. But, and then sometimes it's been a little bit hard on Facebook because even when you're watching live lately, it's like there are no comments come in for a while. So, if you have been to the ocean, I would like to know which ocean. I have been to both the Atlantic and the Pacific. Um, my favorite place to see the ocean was Hawaii. My next favorite place to see the ocean is Cabo San Lucas. We went there for a girls trip, my girlfriends and I. Okay, I'm gonna pull this little bit off here. I don't wanna pull too much of this yet because I don't want it to be sticky quite yet. So I'm gonna put that aside. We'll work with that again in a moment. So now we can do some stamping. We're gonna stamp our pelican in um, Misty Moonlight. I know, they're not blue, but for the sake of our card tonight, we are having a blue pelican. <laughs> okay, so I'm just inking that up. I'm just stamping on a piece of plain basic white. Okay, like so. There we go. And then before I die cut this guy, I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella. And if you're wondering what Wink of Stella is, it's just, um, it's a glitter pen basically. And it kind of acts as a water painter a little bit. It'll move the ink around a little bit. So it'll move the blue ink a little bit into the body of the pelican, which is what I actually want from here like so okay I don't know if you can see that but he's pretty shiny okay so then we'll go ahead and die cut him we'll grab the, the die for that Chris you've got rain I wish it was warm enough here to rain that would be fabulous Okay, I'm gonna put this guy down and then we're gonna put this pelican on, or the die on the pelican rather. And we need moisture too. I would love it if it was raining here. Hopefully it's supposed to be this bitterly cold most of the week. But we did have a 60 degree day <laughs> one day last week. So that was, then it went to this stuff. Okay, I think that's all we are, we're doing that we need the stamp and cutting and buy dye machine for over there. Okay, so there's that. Oh, Kathy, you got your goodies? Oh, good. That's awesome. I'm sending out more goodies this week, too.
Steve took took some to the post office tonight, and I've got more going out on Friday. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start our fun stuff that we're gonna do. So hopefully you've got a drink or something to um to give you some little sustenance because this might take a while i mean it's not going to take an hour but it does take a little while so i've got a set of markers here um going from this is night of navy then going through some misty moonlight and some bermuda bay and some balmy blue and then this lightest one is pool party and i'm gonna take some vellum that i have cut this particular piece of vellum i'm going to move this down just a touch this particular piece of vellum is four and a quarter by five and a half we're going to actually cut it down but we're going to start with it bigger just to make sure it's going to work with what we're going to do so i'm just going to take our alcohol blends and i'm going to make some scribbles here um, that's my dark night of navy, I think, yeah. And then this is my misty moonlight dark. So I'm going to take this one. And for these, I'm using the fatter end of the marker. Um, it doesn't really matter, but you can lay down a little bit more color with the fatter end. Then I think I'll move to Bermuda Bay. And I'll do, oops, that's the skinny end, just as I'm talking about using the fatter end. And I'm just, you know, if you want to really mess with this, you can, but I'm not. I'm just kind of getting some color around there. And then um, let's do a little bit lighter. We'll grab the balmy blend. Who has done this technique before? Anybody that's watching, have you done this technique before? This is pool party, but it's pretty light. No, it's light. Oh, it's dark balmy, balmy blue, but it's not very dark. So I'm going to actually grab, I'm going to go to my, did I do my dark night of navy? Yeah, I did. That's this one, isn't it? I think that's that one. But I think I'm going to grab my dark misty moonlight, maybe light misty moonlight. Let me grab it. I have it out. No, you don't need this many. Yeah, that's what I wanted. You don't need this many colors. You can do this with just two, or you can actually just do it with one. Okay, we've got some good color on there. Got a lot of light and dark. So now I'm going to take um, a spritzer. This I filled with alcohol, and you want your alcohol to be 90% or above. My, I found mine at Walmart, and it was 91%. So I'm just going to take my spritzer off, and then um, what I think I might do before I go too far is this is going to want to curl up, so we're going to kind of pin it down here a little bit on the edges. Okay, so I'm just going to, now I don't want this to get, my desk is, my desk is this direction, so I'm not sure I've got it covered well enough, so I'm going to grab another piece of scrap paper and make a little shield here. You can't really see this, but it's going to be shielding my desk a little bit more. So now I'm just going to lightly, whoops, doesn't want to spritz. I'm just going to spritz okay like this okay now I'm going to take my let me grab my painter where is that this is um our water painter it is there's three sizes this is the skinniest tip and i'm gonna dip that in some let's see i just have some more of the alcohol in a little glass here you're not going to see that because it's going to be off to the side but hang on let me get a little bit more set up here 
Okay, so now you can see what's happening here. Lots of things are happening. I'm gonna dip my brush in there and I think I spritzed it too much. Hopefully, hopefully it'll still do what we want it to do. I think I thought not not enough movement was happening. So here's what we can do. This is not a, you know, there's no wrong way to do this. I'm gonna blow on it. I'll probably get my head in the camera, but. And the blowing itself moves the ink around a little bit. And over here, it's kind of puzzling a little bit. But you can see the movement, see it move? Which by itself is still kind of cool. I might try and lift this up and send some of it back this way. Okay, and I'm gonna blow it again. At this point, if I add more color, it's just gonna run off. So I'm gonna wait and blow it. I might grab my heat tool, which will help us. Kathy, you've done this. Hi, Martha. Good, we've got one more experience probably than me because it's the first time I did it was yesterday. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my heat tool and I've got it on low. It's probably noisy though in the, in the camera. So hang on, this will take just a moment. It's gonna dry pretty fast though because it's alcohol. Okay, so there's that. Okay. Then the second thing we're going to do is take our water, our water pen. I'm dipping it in the alcohol. You can't see that, but I'm going to, I'm just going to flick this off my finger to make some dots. Can you see how magical that is? How it just starts making See, cool, isn't it the coolest thing ever? Now, I spritzed this too much to begin with, so we're not gonna have as much concentrated color as my sample has. I'll show that to you when we're, when we're done here. But I think this is very cool. This is maybe the coolest part. Okay, now we need the, that to dry for a moment. I love that way. I love those little speckles though. That just, I think that's so cool. Okay, so, and you can see here, it's still running a little bit, but that's okay, because we're not done. We've got some more stuff we're gonna do to this. So I'm gonna get my heat tool again, and we're gonna heat this up just a little bit more. And I'm this time I'm gonna get a little further away, because I don't want the, I don't want the heat to move the, ink really too much okay like so okay for the sake of demonstrating we're gonna call that good I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of blotting I didn't have to do this on my sample because I didn't have quite that much ink running around. Okay, then the next step is you can take your markers. Now, I don't know if I would use a brand new marker like this, but I'm going to just, over the Bermuda Bay, I'm going to just flick my, in my cap to make a little bit right, oh, whoops, right over the color that it is. Can you see the little flex showing up? Now, if you're careful and you don't do 20 cards in a row like this, you're not gonna hurt your markers. Then I'm gonna take my, still wants to curl, doesn't it? I'm gonna take my, um, let's do, 
dark misty moonlight i don't know what i have that's dark night of navy oh let's go with that we've got it out so let's just do that one okay same thing with this one so i'm going to go over the blue right here with can you see the speckles i don't know if you can see that on the video and then i'm going to go with one of my lighter blues i'm going to do light that's dark misty moonlight what's this one light misty moonlight and then I'm gonna go over the rest of this, these light blue places, and add a little bit more of that, okay? So there's, that's probably, that's probably good, but we're not done yet. Oh, hi, Pam, oh, thank you. I know the speckles really show up, don't they? Okay, so there's that now. This wants to curl in the worst way, but we're gonna take care of that in a minute. Okay, now, here's the really beauty of it. You know I can't make a card without some sparkles on it. So I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella. And now I'm going to try to actually make sure I've got a little bit of a puddle for this. I might be off the camera. I'll put it on the camera for now so you can see it. Um... Uh, just bringing this in. I'm pushing on my Wink of Stella to get some of this ink to actually pull in the bottom of my pen or even on my paper. Now watch, this is an old Wink of Stella and I can't get any ink out of it. It's the same one I used yesterday, but is it gonna work? Maybe not. Let me grab, let me grab a different one. I have more than one Wink of Stella. Okay, let's try this one, see if this cooperates a little better. Let's try this. Okay, always on camera, there's something. Something that has to go wonky. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to, I wanted that to actually pull a little bit. So now I'm going to just flick this on the card. Well, not the card yet, but the soon to be made into a card on our background paper. I'm going to get a little bit more and start flicking again. Okay, now I like a lot of shimmer, you know that, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to just push down till it's coming out. There we go. I'm going to take that. I'm going to do some more flicking. I'm going to kind of do this mostly towards the center because we're going to cut off the edges anyway. So, I want to use up all that I have on my, my little scrap, my piece of scrap paper. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this until I hold it up. But Wink of Stella also dries pretty fast. So, it is a process. I won't say that you're going to do this. This is not a quick technique, so you're not going to sit down and make this card in 10 minutes. It's just not going to happen. But if you like to dink around with ink and colors and techniques, this is a really, really fun one. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think I've scooped up all of my extra on my, my um, scrap piece of paper here, so I'm going to gonna toss this or put this in a different place so I don't pick it up again thinking that it's still good okay so we're gonna let that sit just a minute so what I might do with this is move it off the camera and we'll work on the rest of it work on part of our card okay so I'll hang on a second then we're going to um, we've got a piece of Knight of Navy. Well, I thought I did. Hang on. Here's a piece of Knight of Navy cut um, five and a half by eight and a half. And while that wink of still is drying, we'll go ahead and put the inside in this card.
Now that's the one I have for the body of the card, so we'll take this on. So I have two pieces of white here. One is cut for the inside and one is cut for the outside. Okay, there we go. I'm going to grab my adhesive. We'll probably stamp the inside of this too. Maybe we can go ahead and do that actually. It might be kind of cool. Oops, before I do that, maybe it'll be cool to, um, well, we'll just do our seagull. I was going to say we could stamp the wave. Oh, let's stamp the wave. What the heck? Let's go ahead. Now, because I have adhesive on the back of this, I'm going to put it down on my uh, little rubbery mat that you can get in the catalog. I never can remember the name of this mat. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to get out the wave. So hang on a second. I got to get it out of my stamp set. So it's this stamp here. I'm going to grab that. Get this out. I haven't stamped with it yet. I do have the label on it, but I haven't stamped with it. So that will be kind of cool to put that on the inside of my card. I don't know why I've been thinking about the ocean so much lately. My, I think partly my because my was it just last year that Steve and I went? That's not big enough. Went to Florida. No, it was two years ago. He, um, I didn't get to go on the trip to Greece that year because Steve had to have an emergency surgery. So I, um, we took the points we had with the airline and we went first class to Florida. Flew first class, which we had never, either one of us, done before. If you're wondering what I'm doing, this is just an emery board, just like you use on your nails. And I'm kind of going over this rubber, and that kind of removes any of the little bit of the whatever it is that they put in the mold to keep the stamp from sticking in the mold. Okay, so now I don't want this on my whole card because I want a place to write on it. So I'm going to put it just here and I think I'll pull out a light blue. So I'm gonna pull out balmy blue here and we'll see how this stamps. I haven't, you're doing it with me for the first time. So this is kind of fun. When you have a big stamp like this, I usually turn mine upside down and then you can make sure your inking is going maybe a little more thorough. Okay, then we'll just, so word of note, if you buy this stamp set, you do have to have block F. That, that's our biggest block and you need that for this stamp set. So I'm going to, I think I'm just gonna put this off of the bottom so you can tell it's a wave coming in, but it won't be in the very far right, but I think that'll be okay. Let's try it. <gasps> okay, this is the joy of stamping to me. It's like the ink to paper. That part never, ever, ever gets old. Silicone mat, Kathy, thank you. You're my right-hand person tonight. Okay, look at that. Oh, that is stunning. Look how pretty that is. So detailed, oh my gosh. So it fits this technique really, really well. All right, let's get to making our card. Let's get back to our, now you can see when it's dry, it, now you, can you see the wink of Stella? It kind of flattened out a little bit. We're gonna use an adhesive that's gonna keep it flat. But we have to do some stuff first. So I'm gonna grab this. It really, oh, looks like the wink of Stella might not be completely dry. Let me, so if Wink of Stella or anything isn't dry, you can always just turn it over face down. Try not to move the paper or whatever it is you're working with. But since it's vellum, you know, things are going to take a little bit longer to dry. Hopefully that's good. Let me get the heat tool and make sure. Just make sure because we don't want to mess up our beautiful design we've got going here. Can you see it? Isn't that pretty? So to me, when I saw this stamp set, I felt like um, this technique with blues and greens just looks like water to me, or gives the illusion of water. Sometimes they heat from the back, 
And that also helps flatten, flatten your cardstock a little bit. See? Um, so I, I wanted to try this. So let's go ahead and now I know my vellum is bigger than my piece of cardstock. My piece of cardstock gets three and three fourths by five. And we are going to have to, we do need this to be the same size now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. I'm going to look at the edges where there's not as much going on. So I think that might be this top edge, although that's the flatter edge. So maybe we'll go with this because it's wanting to curl up a little bit more. So three and three fourths. We've got it here. And then, you know, that will be pretty on something, so I'll probably actually keep that. And then five. So again, I'm gonna go to the edge where there isn't as much movement happening in the design and cut it like that. Okay. Thank you, Christy, isn't it pretty? Yes, it's pretty. So the other thing I was gonna show is, you know, you can put it on a piece of colored cardstock. So that also that's also a pretty background too. Um, but we're going to put it. But so there it is. On this is Coastal Cabana, and this is white. I think it pops just a little bit more on the white. But this is really pretty too. But for tonight's card, we're going to do this. But you can put it on colored cardstock. That's my whole point of saying that. So now we're going to go to our silicone mat again, and we're going to go ahead and use this. For this, I'm going to use Stampin' Seal Plus, and I'm going to go right along the edge of this, and I'm going to go all the way around. Now, when you first hold your vellum up, you can't see it on the camera, I don't think, but you can actually see the adhesive, but when you put it down on the white paper, you don't see it anymore. It kind of disappears. You know it's there, but if you don't know it's there, you don't really see it. So I'm going to curl back my adhesive a little bit because I don't want those edges of adhesive sticking out. So all I'm doing is kind of pushing it back on itself, like so. There we go. Well, not quite. But you want all those edges to be tucked in, otherwise it's going to give you problems when you're trying to assemble your card. Okay, so then we're going to go right down. This doesn't have to be exact, exact, because it's going to be hidden beside a fr behind a frame. Then we're going to take our wave that we made. So we're going to take our wave. And you can see it's a little bit wider than the cardstock. So before I take all the sticky off of this, I'm going to go ahead and... No, I think I'm going to stick it down first. So now I'm just taking off the backing of the adhesive sheets here. Just pull that off. And it's going to come off in pieces because the adhesive sheets, um, they, they have, they're, I don't know how to explain this. The, they're in strips. They're, they're six by 12, but the part, the backing part is in strips, like maybe two inch strips down the back of it. And that helps, that actually helps take it off in a situation like this. Okay, so I think, I think I've got it all off. Nope. There's a little bit right here. On the very tips, tips of these waves. So I'm just pulling that off. Trying not to get my finger to stick in it. I realize this is a little bit of an ambitious project for Facebook client, <laughs> but I did want to show how to use the adhesive strips and I'm excited about this new, this new suite of products. 
And I, as I said, I think I've been thinking about the ocean a lot because Steve and I went to Florida a couple years ago. Now I'm gonna put this, okay, hold on. I have to kind of show you how this is gonna go. So this is gonna be the mat, but I want this wave to show here. So I'm going to go maybe up, maybe about a fourth. I'm not gonna stick this down too hard yet because I wanna, it needs to come up a little bit. Let's try that. Because I want the bottom of the wave to show. So yeah, this is fiddly. Definitely fiddly. But you'll know how to do it if you want to do it. And you can refer back to the, to the video. Okay. It didn't seem to be this fiddly yesterday, but... So actually, I think before I stick this frame down, I'm going to, I'm trying to get this bottom of the wave right at the bottom of my frame because it does kind of make a difference on what the card, if it looks like it's pulled together or not. Okay, I'm going to stick it down very gently here. So if I still need to pull up, I can. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so just move up just a little bit. As I said, I hope you went and got a drink of wine or your coffee or your tea. <laughs> okay, let's come down here. I swear to you, I did not take me this long yesterday. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just stick down my, my frame and I'm actually going to use stamp and seal. Yesterday I used dimensionals, but I felt like it looked kind of bumpy. So I'm going to, cause I didn't use a full strip. I just used the mini dimensionals so we'll see if we can make this work. We know we have adhesive on the wave itself. So I'm thinking if I stick it down here like so, I might be able to maneuver my, whoops, my wave a little bit before I actually stick it down. There, that's much better. Can you see how it fits in the corner there? Okay, don't worry about this part sticking out because we're gonna just trim that off. That's much better way to do it. So kind of get it seed. And then see how it goes right along the bottom of your frame. That's what I was trying to do. This is a little putsy, but I will be sending out this uh, tutorial in my email. So if you're not on my email list yet, I'll put a link in the comments to sign up for my email list. So if you're not on it, I'll send this tutorial out so you have a PDF to look at and you're not trying to um, just remember from the video. Videos are good. They show you all the steps, but sometimes all you need is a visual set of instructions. You don't have to go back and thumb through all the video to see it. And by the way, I've been putting most of my Facebook lives up on YouTube. So it's not Create with Joey on YouTube. It is um, Joey Hartman. So I'd love for you to subscribe. I think I'm up to 25 subscribers. <laughs> I just started a couple of weeks ago. I'm just trimming this off. So um, I would love for you to subscribe, but don't look for Create with Joey. You have to look for Joey Hartman, Stampin' Up, and then you'll find me. So I'll put this up on YouTube. It won't be tomorrow. I'll put it up on YouTube um, probably this weekend. But it, is, it will stay in my video section on my Create with Joey Facebook page, so you can always go back and watch it. Okay, so we're making a little progress. Oh, Roz, you're just so sweet. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. 
Um, yesterday, I, I'm having trouble getting this lined up. Um, I did cut my piece of white cardstock a little bit smaller yesterday. So I think, you know, if life were exactly like I'd like it to be, um, I would have had time to do about four or five cards and do different colors and, you know, just think around with it for a day or more. But I had a class to get out this week, so that that didn't happen, kids. <laughs> okay, what I think I will do is that flat or pop it up I don't know I usually pop I know I usually pop up everything but I think I'm gonna go flat with this so let's let's go ahead if we, I'm not gonna put a ton of adhesive on the back of this just so if I end up going no I want it to be popped up I can get it off without too much of a problem um but can you see, I just thought the combination of this sparkle paper, the subtle, what is it called? Subtle glimmer paper. I'll look it up for you before I get off. Um, in the catalog, one is kind of this greeny iridescent and the other one is pink. In the catalog, it looks like this one is blue. It's not, it kind of depends on what it's what it's next to and this one it looks more white but actually it's a little more greeny blue i don't know how to explain it. it's really pretty i like it but the color shifts it kind of shifts so there's that so now what have we got we've got our pelican that we already cut out so we're going to go ahead and stick him up he is going to go on dimensionals so i'm going to put one up here and put one down here. And if you if you've come on recently, um, oh, thank you, Jan. Thank you so much. Um, I would love for you to let me know you're here and just if you share the video, please put shared because somebody's going to get this card that shared the video tonight. So make sure that you put shared on it so that I know you shared. All right, let's go ahead and do our greeting. Let me grab the stamp for this. I'll put this to the side so you can still look at it. And then I'm going to stamp this happy birthday in Night of Navy. And this is Pool Party cardstock, which I liked it on Pool Party because even though we didn't put pool party here. Oh, we did. We did put a little pool party on it. We put a little bit more Bermuda Bay than pool party. I really like the way that pool party played with the blues. So I'm going to just, I'm going to try and keep this straight as I stamp it. Like so. There we go. Then I'm going to actually just cut this. I'm going to get my big scissors that I prefer to cut with when I have to be really straight, like so. Then cut up here. And then also I'm gonna cut up here, right in the middle of the happy birthday. Hopefully you can see that. And then right on here. So it's fairly straight, there we go. And then for little cuts, I actually like to use my Stampin' Snipped scissors. There we go, that looks pretty good. And this one, we'll cut this down. Looks like I need to trim a, just a little bit off the top. And for this, for detailed things, I much prefer this scissors. But for those longer cuts, I like to have the I like to have the, the bigger ones. Okay, I'm sorry you're looking at a mess here. Let me, I can probably get rid of this. But it does go through, so, whoops, we don't want to throw out our happy birthday. Nope, there's our happy. Okay, 
I usually like to not have to sit there and look at a mess, but you're going to be looking at a little bit of a mess anyway. All right, then we're going to just simply, I was thinking of maybe a masculine card for this. Uh, I think it would be great for a female too, as it's, um, you know, it's got the shimmer on it, but I don't think this is too much shimmer for a guy. Per personally, you know, my brothers-in-law and my brother and other men in my family are used to getting cards that have a little shimmer on them somewhere. Okay, I'm going to grab my um, dimensionals. Looks like I don't have a an old strip. I must have used them all up. So I'm going to grab my... Hold on, kids. I got to... I must be going longer than I realized tonight. I need to plug in my iPad to the charging. It just gave me a low a low battery warning. So I want to be able to see what you're seeing. So now I'm going to just cut my dimensionals. I'm going to cut a little strip here. And then that'll be enough for these two guys. So let me know in the comments, do you like to do techniques or do you kind of like to pretty much stamp, die cut and be done? I would be interested to know that because we can do more techniques on Facebook Live. I just want to do what you'd like to see. So, cause I know techniques always take a little, well, not always, they don't always take, this one has a lot of steps to it. So this one did take longer, but they don't always take a lot longer but some do. So let me know, and if there is a particular technique you'd like to see, um, let me know that too, because I'm up for trying it. Okay, kids, what do you think here? There's our little card, and we've got our wave inside it. Oh, that, I didn't even think about it, but the wave kind of mirrors this wave. So pretty, huh? This was my sample from that I made. And you can see on this one, I used more, I didn't use more ink, but I did use more alcohol on this. And then, so you can see the difference in the two. Um, this has more color. This has more foamy sea foam. Foamy sea, foamy sea, period. There's that one, there's that one. All right, Chrissy, you like both? Roz, do you enjoy techniques? I'm looking at your comments. Oh, thanks for sharing, Roz. Thanks so much. All right. Well, that's good to know. I will think about a little more because I can't really usually do techniques for my in-person classes because um, it, it, you know, because of this. They would get they would make one card and they'd all be sharing the same project so it doesn't work very well it works better on um it works better on facebook to do it this way so let me bring you up here for a minute and switch it down so i can see your face so there we go all right so 6 30 next wednesday i hope to see you then and thanks so much for joining me let me know if you need anything or if i can help you take care love you guys bye bye